Hey guys, welcome back to Moody's Little Farm Journey. So I wanted to go over growing some microgreens. And the reason I wanted to do this is because, you know, we're in winter, there's nothing growing out there in the grass for us. So I still wanted to get some grass for our chickens and help you grow some greens or for your chickens or for yourself, or whatever you want to do, whatever you want to grow your microgreens for. But uh, some of the things that you're going to need for that is obviously you're going to need whatever seed you want to grow. So I'm going to grow some oaks. You're going to need some type of potting mix or, or dirt if you got access to dirt from, from your ground and you can use that as well. You're going to need some type of trays. So I'm going to use the trays that we use. This is what we, this is what we start our plants with, like our tomatoes and our vegetables, whatever plants that we start indoors. These are the trays that we use. So you need grain. Some type of potting mix, some trays, get yourself a, a, a growing light, get those on Amazon. I got mine from, from, from way back and it's not really a growing light, it was just a, a light that I have and that's what I use. But you can, you can pick one up from Amazon uh, very cheap. So let's get started. Microgrids is what I use in the winter in a way for us to give the chickens some some greens because obviously we don't have any grass growing here in Wisconsin we probably got like 10 inches of snow out there so I'm going to use oats for this one this right here will give me a couple batches of the oats the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to soak them for overnight so we're going to put them overnight we're going to soak them up and then we're going to let it sit overnight and then we'll come up and we'll get them tomorrow and then I'll show you what we'll do with them tomorrow. We will show you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so to get these things going, excuse my mess here, I just did dishes. Or I helped Kelly do dishes. Because <laughs> she's sick. <laughs> so the first step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, just, we're gonna soak them, all right? So we're gonna soak them overnight. Why are you um, soaking the whole thing? Do you need them to be on the water? All of them? Mm -hmm. You're doing all of them? He's doing... Ah. Yeah. Right, so pretty much just fill it up. So they're all... Ooh. Let's fill up to the top with water. If you poke your finger in, feel the water. Okay, so these things are gonna soak overnight and they're gonna take in the water. We just need them to take the water so they can start germinating. So we're gonna come here and then we're just gonna let them sit here overnight. All right, so they sit there and then we'll come back tomorrow morning. Now it's the next day and it's actually been, it's been more than overnight. It's actually kind of like the afternoon the next day. But, um, so this, they've been in water overnight and uh, you can tell they've been they kind of like suck up so, some of the water. So what you want to do now is you want to get rid of the excess water. The first time I did it, I, I used the like a strainer to get rid of the excess water. But you know, with the seed, it just kind of it makes a mess and it gets all stuck in there. So the second time I did, it, I just found that it works best if I just take some just regular uh, paper towel, put it on top, and just kind of let it drain drain over that. Oops. <laughs> and I made a mess. It's all right. But either way, I mean, that's, it's, it's gonna be straining the water still right there. Just kind of just let it sit there upside down for a little bit until all that water just kind of, the excess water just kind of drains out. So most of the water's off of that one. And here's our oaks. Our oaks are pretty much drained as well too right now. This year we're actually like, this is 32, 30 ounces of seeds. And this is actually a lot. So you'd be surprised like how much microgreens you can get out of just a little bit of seeds. All right, so it's nothing really fancy. So that's what it is. It's just some seeds that got soaked over, well, I would say probably a little over 12 hours that we left them in there. And now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to put them in my cabinet 
and they'll just be dark in there and I'm going to put them in there for 24 hours and then tomorrow I'm going to cut them out and the point is is that we're going to, we're going to have them start germinating while they're in here because they're still soak so this is my cabinet that I put them in to get them later so dark place for 24 hours so while we wait for the seeds to the 24 hours for the seeds, you can start getting the trays ready for, for when the 24 hours come out. You can get your potting mix and get this ready. So what you want to do here is you want to put a good uh, a small layer. You don't have to fill them up all the way, but you probably want to put like a half an inch or an inch of dirt in the bottom. And all you want is just a medium for the seed to be able to grab on and grow those uh, roots. Again, I'm, I'm right now. I'm using potting uh, potty mix. You can use uh, you can you can also use dirt from outside if if you got access to it. I actually thought I'm gonna I am gonna do a batch with with the dirt from the greenhouse. Um, but if you're in an area like 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 ourselves and you don't have a greenhouse, you may not actually have access to your dirt because everything's frozen out there. I got. So I got one, two, three, I got four of the big ones ready and then I got two of the smaller ones. I did do a lot, so that's why I got a couple ones going here. Pretty sure I'm gonna use all this. So it's, it's already been 24 hours since those seeds been there. So one thing that does help out uh, before we put the seeds in here is to get the potty mix a little bit, a little bit moist. And this actually works better if you had a spray bottle. I can't, I can't obviously, I can't find my spray bottle. So I'm just kind of using the cup and hand scoop method here. If you have a spray bottle, it probably works better than this. So. My, my potty mix is pretty, pretty dry, I guess. It was sitting in the, in the garage all summer from last, when we planted last summer. Oh, let me get the seeds quick. Are these after 24 hours? So we let them soak for about 10 hours, you guys remember? And then now they've been they've been in the dark for 24 hours and you can see the tip of the the root, you see that one right there, it's coming out, and then this one as well. That's what you want to see. You see it's already starting to, uh, starting to germinate. So that's what you're looking for. That's that's when you know that the seed is ready to to be put into the into the medium here to start growing. So once you see that, and you you be able to see because mo most of the seeds right here, they're all they're all looking like this. If if, if I could show you a lot closer. All the seeds. Okay, let me get a shot with my cell phone. So, there you go. That's a much better view. You can see the seed heads. Everything has already started to to grow the roots. So that's what you're looking for right there. And then this is how you want to spread it. The way I spread it, I know, I know it seems like a lot, but it's pretty. I want to pretty much cover it with the seed. I go through and I'm going to cover the ones, the spots that didn't get no seed. Oh, too much. You gotta remember, I'm doing this for the chicken, so I want my I want my I want my microbes to be very rich and thick for them. So, but that's kind of like what you want right there. You want it to be pretty pretty covered. You want to see the dirt to be covered in seeds. All right, so once you have it like this, you go ahead and you cover it. And this one is done. All right, so I'm gonna do that with all the other ones quick.
So that's it for this part of the of putting them in the trays. I was able to come up with four of the big trays of the oaks. I'm gonna keep them in here. We're gonna keep them covered like this until they start germinating more. And then once we start seeing them growing, the grass starting to shoot up and growing, then we'll take off the, the covers. And then, then we'll start watering them and start getting them growing until they're ready to feed to the chickens or, or whatever we wanna do with them. Let's watch them grow. So this is day one. It's actually been, it's been three days since we started this. It's been three days. It is a process so far. So, here's what's going on. So obviously we started this at the same time. And here is what's going on. So I can tell this soil here is it's got had what more moisture than this one. This soil is pretty dry. And it's not growing as much. So if you look at this one, it is growing, but it's not growing as well as this one. If you look at this one, on this side, you can see the oaks is already gone. This was you can you can feel it, you can feel the moisture on this one. This is day what? Day three. Day three. Yeah. So they should all look like this one right here. And um I think that was probably just my bed. Actually, if you look on this corner, this corner yeah. was growing. I saw that. Right there. So you probably just need a little bit more water here. And that's on me. I probably should have sprayed it a little bit more. I just kind of like said it and I forgot about it. I didn't, I didn't, I haven't been spraying them. But see right now I'm just kind of putting a cup of water in, in each one of these. But like I said before, if you get yourself a little spray bottle, if you come out here daily and just kind of spray like this, just kind of keep, keep them moist. And this, this will help you keep them nice and moist throughout the days. That one would be for me if I do it. Yeah, when Mila helps me, that's what she does. So like this one, you probably can get it moist like this, so you can do that one. But this one, since they're so dry, I'm just using, I'm just straight out using the cup. Because this one's need a lot of water. These ones are pretty dry, so they need a lot of water. That's enough. Dad, is that enough water? No, just get them all wet. You want that whole top layer to it. I'm hoping I didn't lose I didn't lose this ones because they they were pretty dry, so I'm hoping that as we get them nice and wet here, we can get this ones back. That's a lot of water, Dad. Yeah, well they're pretty dry. Mm -hmm. so. This ones are growing up pretty good. This ones right here, they're growing a pretty good uh, root system. If you look from this side. You can tell they're already growing some pretty nice roots in here. So I'm gonna cover this one for one more day, just to kind of let them grow, let them let them sprout a little bit more. This ones I'm gonna try to cover them for a couple more days to see if they can if, if we can get them to sprout. And then uh, I'll probably uncover this ones over the next two days, and they'll be able to grow now at that point. And then we'll move them, we'll move them to the sunlight because that's when they're going to really start growing. Yeah, obviously, I forgot about them for three days. You kind of want to check on this. At least once a day, check the soil, make sure it's still... It's, you don't want it soaked, but you want it moist. So, so that the seed has got somewhere to pull moisture to start growing. So the, the casing should look like, like this, a little bit of moisture. Should look like that, you know. A little con yeah, that's right. A little condensation. You always got Kelly fixing my language. <laughs> so you want to see a little condensation? That's good. Inside, like the greenhouse, it shows you that there's there's moisture in there. If it's dry, then obviously your soil is probably just dry. That's the reason why I put them here in the living room because I'm a very forgetful person. <laughs> So if I put them here, every time I walk by, I see them. Or Kelly reminds me there's a mess here. Well, they were there for three days and you didn't touch them. Yeah, well, <laughs> I did say I'm a forgetful person. So. <laughs> I 
All right, that's day three. We have some growth on this one, so hopefully we can save the other two. So here we are, day five. Let's see how these things are doing. Well, these first two are the ones that were growing really good. And these two are the ones that were, the soil went kind of dry. There's the first one, this is day five. Five. And then these are the two that you guys remember our soil was kind of dry. But this kind of gives you an example. I mean, it's pretty easy to grow this stuff because you would think we would have killed them because we didn't water them. But you know, we caught it in time, we put some water and, and they, they bounce back pretty good. So these two, I'm actually going to give them a little bit more time to kind of keep sprouting a little more. I kind of want them to be like this too. This one's now, we, um, at this point, now that they're like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them open. I'm gonna put them somewhere where I can put the, the light on them and then they can start growing. Okay, so obviously you don't need nothing fancy. My setup, I just put them in my room right here. So when I wake up in the morning, I get to see them and I remember to water them. My light, I just got this because I had from from way back, but you can buy a, a, a grow light from Amazon and it'll work just fine. So what I do is I just get up in the morning, turn it on, and then right before bedtime I turn it off. So here they'll, they'll get this and they get some sunshine from the window. Um, but you can see right now like there's there's a little, there's actually water droplet, droplets. If you can get in there real close, you can see the water droplets They're right on top of that, of the, of the grass here. So the soil, so this could be watered. And the way I do it, so I just kind of keep a regular water bottle close by and in the morning I'll just kind of water it just like this. Just come here, just kind of poke it in. That's usually enough. Alright, so usually I do like one, one bottle bottle for, for this whole thing. And uh, I'll do that about like every other day. And then just, you kind of have to kind of gauge it, see how, how dry things are looking. And you'll be able to tell, like if your grass is kind of droopy and dry, you know that you need to add some water in there. But yeah, so this is day five. And then we'll see uh, how it looks in a couple of days. Okay guys, so, <clears throat> that right there, that's day 10 of the oaks. So day 10, and this thing is a part of the bulb. I would say that's probably about six, seven inches long. And you know, they, they're pretty, I think it's long enough right now where I could give it to the chickens. So I'm actually gonna give it to them tomorrow just cause today they already got food today. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna give it to them tomorrow and then just gonna have them enjoy it. So depending on what you want to do it, like the way I got the set up right now, I could stagger them. Obviously, I got I got four trays, but let's say if you want to have it like all winter long, knowing that it takes you you know ten days to go from like the seed to this, you could stagger it. Where you know if you got four trays, you could start one uh, a tray every other week or every week, and then every week you have a, a new set of batch of greens that you can feed to your chickens. And then your chickens can have uh, some grass every once a week, you know, and they get that benefit throughout the winter. Okay, guys, so it's actually day 12. We're going to get this to the chickens. So I'm going to give it to these girls. Stuff is nice and thick here. So I got to take it out of the the plotter here should be pretty easy to take out you can see all the the root system right there and all the plants it's pretty thick we're gonna get these girls they've had this before so they know what it is they love having the rooks, so it's in the winter because they don't really get this. Oh, look at them. 
This will probably go like in an hour. Look at the root system on this one. Oh wow. <laughs> That's really cool. One thing, if, if you're doing this for your chickens, you know, if you want to give them uh, microgreens in the winter, you want to be careful because on this setup, you can see that they're ripping the whole thing up and then they can chew the whole thing up. So you don't want to give them microgreens like too often, like every day, because they can get clogged up in the, up in the crock and they can get sour crop. And they can actually uh, really do harm them. So you want to space it out, like how often you give them like microgreens like this. So that way they have time to digest it. You know, because so, they'll, they'll fill this up now, but then when they get the grain and stuff, then they'll be able to, to chew that up in the, in the crop. So, if, they, if, they, if you give it to them too often, they might be able to, it might get clogged. Um, and you may ask yourself, well, why does it happen in the summer? It's because on this setting right here, they're, they're able to rip everything out from the, from the, from the, from the seed. Um, in the regular grass, they're able to like, rip off just the top of the grass, you know, in a, in a regular setting, they just eat the top of the grass and they, they eat small pieces. Here, they eat the whole thing. So you want to be careful that they don't, they're not eating too much at once. So. That's how we get our girls to get some greens in the winter. But this video helped you guys in a little bit. I hope it did. Here's a thumbs up. We love you. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>